The sister of one of the victims in what's likely the most high-profile murder case of all time is slamming true crime shows for not doing enough to include the perspectives of victims' families. She particularly focused on one popular, recent example. Netflix's Dharma, Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story has generated a lot of controversy, with ethical concerns over its depiction of events, details from the show's set, and the showrunners reportedly not consulting the families of Dharma's victims. Yet, the series also smashed a Netflix record by becoming the streamer's biggest debut ever. Dramatizations of real-life crimes really have to walk a fine line. While entirely fictional crime series like Ozark and Good Girls can get away with some comic relief and outlandish storylines, true crime has a responsibility to depict events at least fairly close to how they really happened. According to Kim Goldman, Monster did not hit that target. She is the sister of Ron Goldman, the man who was killed alongside Nicole Brown Simpson in 1994. O.J. Simpson was tried and acquitted for both murders. Kim is now a writer who also works with non-profit organizations on a variety of cases. As the sister of a high-profile murder victim, she did not mince words in her criticism of Monster. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Goldman said, Some article said Netflix is not required to notify the families, and it bugged me. How sh is that? That it doesn't even dawn on you from just a human space that you would give someone a courtesy call. Goldman added that when she and her family heard about the FX series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story, they reached out to ask what they could learn. We asked if we could see an advanced copy. We were told no. I said, well, that's unfortunate. It kind of works against you. If you were to at least share it with me, then I would be able to say, hey, they shared it with me, and this is what I feel about it. Missed opportunity. The People vs. Versus O.J. Simpson and Monster both had the same executive producer, Ryan Murphy. You know, there's so many places that they took creative liberties, and a part of me is thinking, you know, why do we need the show? We had it on television, gavel to gavel, for 10 months. Goldman has raised the possibility of a law requiring filmmakers to consult with families. She speculated as to the reasons why creative teams would not contact families, saying, I would imagine it's because of the pushback that a production company or a network would receive if a family got wind of a project and wanted some kind of involvement. Goldman's issue with true crime shows and films not consulting families isn't just about a lack of courtesy. Viewers have the expectation that what they're viewing is a fictionalized but still largely accurate account of events. But a well rounded account of what happened would be difficult to portray without consulting the families of victims. Goldman compared the idea of a true crime show that doesn't consult those families to an unauthorized biography, written without the subject's permission or knowledge. She said, when or if I choose to read that book, now I know the lens with which to view it. I feel like that could be applied to these types of shows, and then people can decide whether to watch it. I'm not trying to stop people from watching, but just maybe to have a different sensitivity as you consume the show that it wasn't at the pleasure of the victim's family. Goldman also shared that she asked Jeffrey Tubin, the author of the book that Monster was based on, about why family members of Dharma's victims were not consulted. She recalled, he said, well, it wasn't victim-focused, and I'm like, well, that's the problem. Goldman added, I think it's changed a little bit over the last couple of years, but most of the shows are from the criminal's perspective, from the law enforcement perspective, from the legal perspective. Very seldom do you often see it from a victim's perspective. It paints a picture that victims and survivors are in the background, you know, in a fetal position on the floor. She said the experience of the victims is just as important as those of the criminals and the police. Goldman said, It's irresponsible to not in some way include the families so that you can understand what they're experiencing and to give a little bit more power back to them. 